Oh, right, my friends. Well, if you watched the last video, then you will know that I'm in Keswick in the Lake District and I've come up here in my electric car and I've had a bit of a day of it, to be honest, trying to find a charging point, waiting for my car to... Anyway, watch the last video for all that. This is not about electric cars. We're going to go and get something to eat. So it's going to be a quick video because I am absolutely shattered. We're going to have a look around, see what there is. I don't even know where we're going to eat at the moment, but there's lots of eateries around here. It's a great little town, this is. So we're going to have a look around, have a bite to eat, mark it out of 10 and uh, just a bit of a relaxing video so kick back and uh, mark it out of 10. If you're new to the channel by the way and you do like the content at the end hit the subscribe button and if you like the video give it a thumbs up. If you think it's rubbish give it a thumbs down. Now without further ado my friends let's go. So apparently the uh, the goulash is really good, is it absolutely packed out in there though? And I'm going to say hello to John from Keswick who's just come up who watches the channel and he says electric cars are terrible by the way, they loaned him one and it was awful, BMW. So there we go and he says this is excellent and I should come back for the goulash, he said but you won't get in and I've looked through the window and it is packed but it looks a great pub I've got to say, I have to come back for that. Now, I have been in that one before, the old uh, Keswickian, Keswickian, Kes Keswickian, old Keswickian fish and chip shop anyway, but John tells me that the one down here, I believe Kingfisher, is better, so if I'm going to go fish and chips again for a change, then that's the one to go for down here, but I'm going to have a look around and see what takes my fancy. Right, I'm going to say, they don't want to be on camera, but I'm going to say, blimey, loads of birds. I'm going to say hello to Ian and Angela from Saltburn, which is near Whitby. And I was wanted in Whitby for dissing their fish and chips. Less said about that, the better. Onwards. <laughs> now, there was a queue for that pub earlier on, the round, I'm guessing that it's uh, very popular. Got the King's Arms here behind me there as well. And then the Skidor Hotel, which I stopped at many years ago uh, when I did, a, I was doing, what was I doing? I was doing some exam anyway, and we came up here and we had to do orienteering and all the off the back of the cliffs, etc. And we stayed right here. Hello. <laughs> They're waving. There we go, look. Wave. <laughs> Mac Master, yeah, how you doing? <laughs> That's three people I've bumped into today. Blimey, who watched the channel? I don't, I don't know your names, all I couldn't hear, but hello, and I hope you're having a wonderful time if you're on holiday up here. Right, let's have a look and see what there is around here. I know there's a spoons. I love all these roads like this. It's still raining. I hope my microphone's going to last out. I've been here before, Bryson's with Sarah for breakfast which was very nice tea rooms uh, very it was a bit of a pretentious breakfast but very nice see how much the breakfast is it was about a year or two when i came there you go full english 13 sheets 85 or a bacon sandwich for seven pounds 20. how much does that come with a rubber glove and some vaseline having a laugh the bank oven here, just here. What are you saying? It's not that better. Always take your video from above and do that. That's what I say. Makes you look a bit thinner. Ah! Now! It's the same fish and chip shop that I went to two or three years ago with Jason from the Sizzling Stone and we took them out and we ate them up in the mountains there. Um, but it is good. But is there an indoor? I want to sit down. I can't eat them outside. I think, I think the rest, now the restaurant's closed, I think. Keswick Cumberland Sausage. 
made fresh. Do you know what? I'm tempted. They've got a sausage unit. <laughs> a sausage unit. I'd like to see their unit. Um, made, made fresh daily in our sausage unit. I'm tempted to have Cumberland sausage and chips instead. Do you know what I mean? Instead of I always have fish and chips. This would be a different. And I love a Cumberland sausage. And I was on about it the other day. It's got it normally. Cumberland sausage should have a curl in it, shouldn't it? Maybe I should try it. Could always eat it in the car or something. No, right, let's give it a go. Right, so I'm looking forward to this. I think this cost me around about 10 quid, I think it was. Now, Steve, who works here, he just, he said, oh, you were filmed the fish and chips before uh, with Jason. He's given me his card and he said, why don't you give me a ring, come down one day and I'll actually show you how we actually, wow, how we actually make, that's big, uh, how we actually make the sausage. So he says, come down to the unit and I'll show you. This is, this is massive. So I've gone for the sausage, proper Cumberland sausage, Proper chip. It's what, sorry? A century old recipe. That's where it's that's where it's all come from. Oh, it's come from there. Have a look. Right, well I can't believe this because the guy who invented the recipe for this sausage. I used to live in the States, as a lot of people will know, uh, on the watching the channel. I lived in Hoboken in New Jersey, and I used to get all my English stuff from a place called Myers of Keswick, which was in Greenwich Village in New York City. And the lady who runs that, her dad has moved back here now, and his dad invented the recipe for this sausage. Can you believe that? So he's gonna tell me, I'm gonna come back, they're going to show me how to make these sausages, how they make them uh, in their unit there, and then they're going to tell me the story about it. But I can't believe it that this sausage here in the recipe actually has a connection to New York City where I used to sh shop. It's a shop there. Fantastic. Anyway, I've gone for the gravy, I've gone for the chips, I've gone for the Cumberland sausage, which, I mean, you won't get more of a bend in a sausage than that. Um, so before we go any further, just take a closer look, my friends. Right, I am looking forward to this because I said a Cumberland sausage, actually I said it should be a curl, but it should be a bend and that is a whacking great Cumberland sausage. So I've got my knife and fork here, let's go in for this. I can't believe that it's actually got a connection to Myers of Keswick in New York where I used to shop all the time. Just look at that. Wow. That is a meaty meaty sausage that is wow oh yeah it's got a like slight, slight spice to it it's fantastic right let's put it up let's have a look i can't wait to actually go back and see how he makes this thing right, here we go look at that properly cooked on the outside there and properly stuffed as well let's dip it in the gravy there we go, get a bit of gravy on there. Mm. That, that is really filling. Mm. Nice and chewy, real good flavour coming out of it as well. Not too dry, 
it's got that it has got a very slight spice to it which is nice it's just hitting the back of the throat there as well we're going for these chips nice chips there dip my dip my chips in my gravy i think it's a northern thing that and here we go mm. that gravy is nice and thick as well not too thin i've got my iron brew that it's just terrific. I've got to show you another cut of this. Just cut it in there and just have a, have a closer look at this. Tell you what, there's nothing like a proper Cumberland sausage. Mm. I used to have these all the time. Whoops, losing my sausage, just getting away. I used to have Cumberland sausage all the time. I had a place called the Angler's Arms when I grew up here with my mum and dad. And it was in the menu and it always just made me laugh. I used to say Cumberland sausage, you'll, you won't believe the size of it. It used to make me giggle for some reason. Obviously I was a little bit childish. Things don't change. Let's open the iron brew. Ah, oh yeah, I like an iron brew. I've got to say it. Made in Scotland from Gerdes. Right, I shall eat the rest of this and then we'll mark it out of 10, but this is going to score high because it is very, very tasty. Mm. I'll tell you what, I'm not going to film any more angles of me eating this, but I'm going to tell you one thing. It's very, very filling. It's really tasty. One of the taste, I'm going to, I'll tell you now, it's the best Cumberland sausage that I've tasted. And I've tasted a lot of sausage. Easy, it's a family channel. A lot of Cumberland sausage in my time, but this, this, this beats them all. And I can't believe the story behind it as well. Hmm, I've got to come back and see how this is made. Right, okay, I've got to tell you, that was absolutely amazing. The best Cumberland sausage I've ever had in my entire life. It was superb. I can't believe the story, story behind it as well, uh, with Myers of Keswick in New York. So the actual, let me get this right, the guy who came up with the recipe for that Cumberland sausage opened Myers of Keswick and it's his son's, it's his granddaughter, I believe now that runs it. And his son is now back here in Keswick. So absolutely amazing. I've got to come back and see how that's made. He's going to show me um, how it's made in the unit. So we'll come back and do that. I can't wait. Honestly, I really enjoyed that. I could have just had the Cumberland sausage. It was that filling. Didn't even need the chips. Unbelievable. So for me, it's a 10 plus. It was brilliant. I loved it can't believe it a story behind that sausage as well that's all from me today see i think i love how things work out on this channel you know anyway that's all from me today thanks for watching do give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it uh, and hit the subscribe button also and i'll see you guys in the next one bye bye